The camera sees differently than the eye. This distinction is paramount and has long prompted reflection on visual perception as a way of making sense of the world. At the same time, critical writing on contemporary art has sought to map out the various ways that painting, photography, and film serve as a conceptual and often controversial source for one another. This project examines what I identify as the kinetic aura of the Baroque canon. In particular, it investigates the idea of unfolding time through the mediums of photography and video. The work reveals some well-known effects of Baroque art by drawing some as yet unexplored parallels to filmmaking. Key Baroque themes are considered in a series of images and video looking at illusion and movement through analogy with contemporary photographic and cinematic perception El Greco's The Repentant St. Peter can be made to reveal aspects that transcend its own time. His works are inherently imbued with spatial movement, high drama, spectacle, and visceral appeal that lend themselves directly to the cinematographic. The dissection of the picture plane into multifaceted events describing the passage of time and movement begins with Cezanne, preceding the analytical cubist paintings of Picasso and Braque. Exhibiting constructed time-based motion, Duchamp in his painting New Descending the Staircase No. 2 similarly demonstrates photographic lessons learned from Marais and Muybridge. Consider, too, the overlaid motions in Bala's futuristic graphic sequence, Dynamism of a Dog on a Leash. The phantasmagoric distortions found in the photo-based work of Bacon advances this visual experimentation, as does the work of Richter. Case in point, Woman Descending the Staircase. Through this lens, El Greco's The Repentant St. Peter is reimagined as The Repenting St. Peter. We see him actively engaged in his spiritual transmutation. <laughs> 